him at a little bit of tight end, but he also has Mike Vick, but he said he, the key for him is that Jamal Charles, so both of these guys play very similar, where they'll run the ball with Vick, but they rely heavily on their running backs. When you talk to them, they both sound like they had similar game plans. They both want to run the ball first. So Grizzly will have it first. He'll be in the all red. And point spread will be the home team. So after the fair catch by Ingram, Grizzly will go to work at the 25. Both guys of Michael Vick, so buckle up. And a run to the outside. That's Bettis. Gets away with one big truck and gets out of the 42-yard line. That is a tough man to bring down. Yeah, he says he's going to run a lot of this deuce close formation, um, and he's going to get the ball to Bettis a lot. He loves that 12 personnel. And we'll see if points spread has some run defense because Bettis, that's a bad man to try to stop right there. But and you got to respect Vic. That's the other thing. Back to Ben. Oh, he whams it up the middle. Better get some running. And I did up. say wham down to the 33. And Giz is talking to him early. I'm sorry, I call him Grizzly Adams, but it, his name now is Grizzly Adams. But I call him Giz. And back when he was Giz, he was this skinny young kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was 19. Now he's just grizzled. He's got the silverback hair. Got a little belly to him. He's married. I think Chow might be the only one still in shape. The rest of us have had ourselves go by. Uh oh! And there's Vic. Able to pick up three. He's in field goal range now at the 30 yard line. Vic Manis is his kicker with plenty of power. Speaking of uh, Grizzly Adams, uh, Giz being. Uh, being married, I got to give a shout out. I told him to his wife, Alyssa, and his father-in-law, Carl, that are at home watching, supporting him. And it's cool. He probably told him, hey, I used to do this. And, uh, you know, I had to talk the wife into, you know, letting him get yeah. back at the competitive Madden. And, you know, year one, he's right back here at the live event showing him what it's all about. And he was a really talented player back in the day. Well, he's already made a grand. Everyone that qualifies for a club championship. Live final starts off with a thousand with a chance to walk away. Of course, the entire prize pool, 1.15 million. Put your pinky up to your mouth. <laughs> <Really? laughs> really? Now third and two takes a big hit as Rondé Barber coming from that nickel. It's going to be a 49 yarder. And, and look at points spread, and he's no slouch, and he's got some experience of his own. He played in that 2013 Madden Challenge uh, back, back in the day, and he's got some football And he missed it. He did not just, just shot. Play. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. If you blinked, it was by a hair under the crossbar. Oh, my. Did he kick it perfectly? I, I, no. was, I was looking down no. at the notes. I missed it. Had the accuracy, but didn't have the distance. Oh, Stretch shit. it outside. There's Jamal Charles. It's big for points. Looking spread. like Shady with that 25 and a Bills uni. You know, an interesting thing about point spread, though, Scott, he played free safety for the 2014 semi-pro championship football team named the South Buffalo Celtics. Take a look at your scouting report here, RG. So for Giz, he says he needs to stay in manageable situations. He doesn't have a heavy passing attack, he said. So if he gets himself in a situation, kind of like we saw Ruins does, he doesn't have the place to make up for it. So he needs to keep everything manageable by running the ball. Point spread says, dude, I need to get the run going as well. I don't like passing the ball. As a matter of fact, when he played his online elimination, oh, big dot. When he played his online elimination game to get here, he only passed the ball four times and ran at 25-plus, <laughs> so he's very reliant on Jamal Charles in that running game. So he needs to get that going. But Take a look at this throw by Mike Vick. Yeah, right. Dippity dot down to the 32. And I feel like he lied to me, right, when he's saying, i, I got to <laughs> run the ball. He slangs one right down the middle of the field for a big game. He tries to go back to Jamal Charles. He gets stuffed. Loss of two. We'll see how big that missed field goal was by Grizzly Adams. The origin of the Grizzly Adams uh, tag, how he went from Giz to Grizzly Adams, is he said he started growing the beard, putting on a little bit of weight. His friend said, man, you're like a Grizzly now. <laughs> Grizzly Adams. Almost jumped off sides there. Vic. 
The pocket. He'll get away from the oh. pressure. Oh. He got tripped up. Oh. Had an opportunity to break free there. It's going to be a 46 yarder from there, but a big third down. Big third down right here. Can't take a sack. That gun bunch. You see Hill running this route deep over the middle. Graham Gano. That's point spreads kicker. Got pressure coming from his right side. Nope. It's a nice shot picking it up. And Williams will pick up the first down. Heard you got a that big was, body, but a little good face. Got a I 41 vessel, it's a honey cake. If I feel that's where you want Vic to roll out. If Vic's going to roll out, you want him going to his right since he's the lefty. You don't, you don't want Vic being able to get loose on this area of the field. You want to force him that way. Empty. Watch the draw. And Vic will take off. Has oh, a blocker yeah, ahead of him. Oh, makes a move out. down to the four-yard line, and that's what Michael Vick can do for you. Nice play call by point spread, and he warned me about that. He said, hey, I'm going to run some gun punch, but it's not the normal gun punch and stuff that you're going to see from everybody. I'm going to have some read option. I got some quarterback draws I can audible to, and he's showing it right there. Good Vick stick, getting it done, point spread, the local hometown here. At the four, tries to run it up the gut with Jamal Charles. It's been tough sledding thus far. Another loss of two. Point spread. His whole family are diehard Bills fans, season ticket holders. All his older brothers who taught him how to play Madden when he was growing up are back home watching. A lot of pressure he's feeling trying to defend his own turf here. We got a Billy Wema situation here? This is exactly a year ago Billy. with the Chiefs. This is a Billy Wema situation. This is his lifelong dream, you know, to be a part of the Bills organization and get it done. And he's, he's in control right now. As a matter of fact, he inherited the gamer tag point spread from his brother. It was his, bro his older brother's tag, and then uh, Pass you know, it down. his brother moved out. He took on to it, and he said by the time it expired, everyone knew him as point spread, so he, he renewed the account, and that's the tag he's been playing on. The, you got to watch the read option. All my brother did was pass me down some polo overalls and some it's obsession cologne. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess people still out there rocking, rocking the obsession. Session. You a cologne guy? No, I, no, no, I stay, stay just keeping it casual. You old Spice. But I, I, old Spice no, I, I have colognes. I get them for Christmas and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'm not very high maintenance. <laughs> Third and goal. And Vic will take oh, off. Man. Touchdown, Touchdown point spread. Oh, look at the emotion right there by point spread. He knows what's on the line. And he should be pumped up about it. That was a prolific drive by Mike Vick. And if you're going to spend the cap on Vick, you need to use him. And Point Spread did a fantastic it, job bro. of utilizing Mike Vick, both on the ground and through the air on that drive. Great mix-up of play calling. Point Spread looks like the real deal so far. Did play 61 yards. Three minutes and 35 seconds off the clock. One more stop, man. One Reed more fair stop. catch it at the 27-yard line. Look at it again. If you blink, he's Get gone. Oh, what blocking. That draw play is looking tough. And we saw Tweez have some success with that draw on the goal line in the Madden Classic. It's a nice play to have in your arsenal if you got that mobile QB. Goes back to the bus. This time has room. And Bettis will rumble down to the 35-yard line. Four carries, 80 yards for the bus. 20 yards a pop. The problem is Bettis, he can, you know, get through, he can truck someone, but he doesn't have that breakaway speed to take that to the crib. Ball to 35, first and 10. Two tight ends, little motion. Goes back to Bettis. Oh, he had it. Got up ended, and that was Shazier. Huge tackle. It's going to actually be Telvin Smith who came darting in from the right side. Well, that's two fast guys out there. Two fast number 50s. Big drive here for Grizzly Adams. Stretching it outside to Bettis this time. Can't get to the edge. He'll lose a yard. I like how he's fake snapping a lot. If you press the RB button while at the line of scrimmage, your quarterback will do a fake snap. And that gives you a chance to make the defense jump off sides, especially if they're on that aggressive pass rush coaching adjustment. Empties out the backfield. Play. Swings it out, gets a block, oh. and Bettis leans for it, but he'll be just shy with a fourth and one from the 26. you got to take the points. This is the situation right here. I mean, this is an old-school type of player we got in the Grizzly. Look at him. 
I think he's going to go. Nope, he's kicking. So the veteran move, he's going to kick it. Remember, he came up short. This time, kicks it through with 314 to go in the half. Don't go out there, fall in love now, she. Yeah. There we go. She this is going to be a statement going. drive oh, yeah. for point spread, Coltrane. You're gonna, he gets the ball at halftime. He's already up four. If he can put another prolific drive together like he did his last one, he is going to be in complete control. And see the big run that set up the field goal. Ba boom, ba boom. Bettis has been huge. That's his guard pull. He's going to take out the block right what? there. Too much traffic. Still makes the tackle. With a Tim of Windows ten. So three like minutes left in the half. Point spread with a four-point lead. <coughs> Took up three and a half minutes last time he had an RG. He could take this one all the way to the half if he wants. He's gonna have to pick up some first downs. Got himself in the second and twelve. Got to watch his ear going up that seam, and then you got a route coming over the middle. Ooh, nice dump Gets down. It to Williams. Williams makes a nice move to the forty-one. So it's gonna be third and one. It's three thirty. Excuse me, two thirty-five left in the half. I like point spreads offense. He's making good reads. He's running the ball with Vic when he needs to. His pocket looks good. He's really making a name for himself so far. Just keep this momentum going. He got himself in a big third and one here, though. She keep calling me a dog. You know, the door gives a what? Needs a yard. Got to watch. It's a handoff to Charles right up the gut. The clock running down. Gets it Jamal oh. Charles who gets the first down and more. Cross midfield to the 47-yard line. Fame, that Jamal Charles is a goon. That's the 92 overall Thursday night football edition in Mutt who cost you 56 salary caps. So you're going to want to get him the ball. You spent a lot of cap to have him on the team. You're going to need him to do some work. And boy, did he do some work right there on that third and short. Cost you more than that on the auction house, RG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, get a, you get a limited Thursday a, night player. A limited <laughs> Thursday night player. Some players in mud are only available limited time in packs, so he, he's one of them. So only so many people have them. But the other cool thing is once you make one of these live events, like we said, we open yeah. up the whole. The it, barn door is open. It doesn't matter if they're limited time or whatever it is. If they exist in mud, you can get a piece of them once you make one of our live events. To put it in our terms, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Straight up. Second and ten. Good pocket. Vic has time. Wow. Wide open Ingram, and he's got speed for a tight end. It's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That was a great pocket right there. And Where's Ingram in New York? Giant. What do you think about Eli, man? What do you, what do you think about Benching a veteran oh, quarterback. I, I don't I'm even, not a Giants fan, but it, I, I feel like the worst. I don't feel good about oh, it. I feel what? like the worst thing that could happen for the. I don't want to knock Geno Smith, but the, the worst thing that I feel like could happen for the Giants is Geno Smith comes out and balls out. <laughs> and it's like, do you really, you really want to keep that going? But you never know. Hey, try to run a read option there with Vic. Ends up losing five. Clocks on the move. Both these players with three timeouts. Of course, we're live from Buffalo. Point spread will receive the ball to start the second half. So this is a huge possession. Takes off with Vic on the throw. Oh. And it's the Michael Vick yeah. experience here in Buffalo. The bad man. And point spread is standing up, sits back in his chair and says, that's a bad man. And boy, is Vic a bad man. He is running wild all over this field. It looks like 0-4 all over again. One stop, man. One stop. And something that's interesting that I should call out, Scott, is Pony Montana, when talking to him about the competition, he said, if I could pick someone to play in the championship, it would be point spread because Ooh. they played an online elimination. Be careful what you wish for. Well, the thing is, Pony says he played point spread in online elimination. He says he beat him 52 to 14. Take a look at it again. It's a design quarterback run, and the former Virginia Tech Hokie takes us to the crib. The Vikings. It's an 11-point game now. So he would be a one-possession game. He missed an early field goal, the first possession. So it should be 14-6. to six. There's a big truck by the bus. Oh, oh, he's still on his wow. feet. 
to the 47 yard line. And here's Clock's a little ticking. hurry up. Clock's ticking. You still got all three though. I love the Telestrator. You're like the you're like the Bob Ross of Madden right now. As Vic makes its way cross midfield to the 49. It's a huge drive here for Grizzly Adams. Did you just call me Bob Ross? The Bob Ross of Madden right now. Draw a happy little bush down there in the corner. A little more animated. <laughs> <laughs> a little less relaxed. Second and six. There's that fake snap again using that RB. Goes to a draw this time. It's the I gotta Jerome be, Bettis. You got to be a little more aggressive right here. Gives. Got an old school rollout. We're going to look roll out with Vic to the left. Look for some of these crossing routes. Just come in, roll and flood in that side of the field. But the blitz comes from the oh, left. Yeah. Good defensive play call by point spread. If you want to stop Mike Vic, make a roll to the oh, right. Shit. Sent the blitz to, from the left. Messed oh. with Giz a little bit. I think point spread's just trying to call a timeout. Gets a timeout here with fourth and 12. Little LB cross and Shazier came free. Wow, point spread looking tough. Richard Anderson, 23 years old, Buffalo, New York. Lives four miles away. Has his family and his older brothers watching, trying to put the team on his back one time. Bill season ticket holder. Looking to make his dreams come true. Fourth and 12, Grizzly Adams will go for it from the 45. Oh, this is scary. This is risky. This is, uh, this might be, this could, this could cost him the game. I'm not really sure what you got to gain here, RG. I, I can tell you what you got to lose. What is he doing? Is he just going to take a delay a game? Oh, no, he's going for this. Vic has time. Only a three-man rush. He'll take off. And Vic won't get to the sticks. Killed Ooh. a lot of time, though. Only two seconds left right that there. It's not going to be enough for point spread to make Your point seven. spread, you probably just want to hand this off. Yeah. Maybe see if you can make a juke or two and work your way to the half. He does receive the ball. Maybe run a draw with Vic. <laughs> Let him get on his horse again one time. Some motion. Pitch it out to Jamal Charles. Fight. And Charles will fight his way to the 48. And that's how the first half will come to a close. Longtime Buffalo Bills fan here in Buffalo with a 14 to three lead. We'll have highlights and analysis coming up here at the half. Each Thanksgiving, the Buffalo Bills family dedicates two days here at the Food Bank of Western New York by helping other families in our area. And this year, dozens of Buffalo Bills players, coaches, staff members, along with their significant others and families participated in the Thanksgiving Blitz. Yesterday we had a bunch of Bills wives and significant others come out and some of the staff for the team and we got like an assembly line going and filled up I think 600 bins with the Thanksgiving meals for these families. We have tea and fruit punch and apples and potatoes and I think there's some canned goods and there's a turkey, pies and bread and, rolls. And they get, I think the bins stay with the families who yeah. retrieve the food. The Food Bank is so thrilled with this partnership with the Buffalo Bills. This is actually the sixth year we've been doing the Bills Blitz. Um, the impact on the community is direct and impactful. For many of these families, having a Thanksgiving dinner would simply not be an option if it weren't for the generosity of the Bills. Uh, it's always a great time. I mean, you get to interact with the, with the families and the community, so it's a great, it's a great turnout. Everybody's out here having fun. I think our husbands both are just trying to create a culture of family. And serving That's super important to them. I think we all recognize how um, blessed we are and how fortunate we are to be here in this situation too. We're thankful every day to have this opportunity with the Bills. So I think that kind of translates into all these families who are here committing their time to serve the community of Buffalo that has embraced us since day one. And we realized too that even before we got here, this was something the Bills did. I mean, the Pagulas are just amazing. All about giving back. It's literally the whole Bills organization out here. We even have our owner out here, our president. It's really cool. Just you know, it all we're all giving from our hearts here and, and spreading positive energy. I mean, it's all good vibes. I think it's incredibly exciting for the families, for the staff, for the community to see the players coming out and taking time out of their incredibly busy schedules in the midst of the football season to be sure that families aren't going hungry. That that personal touch 
um, how much more could they say to a family to let them know you're important to us. I'm so proud to be a member of this community and it's just another reason for us to love our Buffalo Bills. That was a quick look at our Buffalo Bills Thanksgiving Blitz event from a couple weeks ago. One of the best community events that the Buffalo Bills put on every single year. Tons of players and their families always get involved. So thanks again to all of them. Thanks to all of you for keeping up with this live stream today of the 2018 Madden Club Championship right here at New Era Field, the home of the Buffalo Bills. We're going to get to the second half in just a minute, but some quick comments first from Point Spread. His college roommate is here, one of his friends from here in Buffalo. I walked over to him a couple minutes ago. He he said his strategy for the second half, you might guess, is to keep running Vic. And then Grizzly Adams, I went over to him and asked the same thing. And guys, he said, I got to stop Vic. Yeah, that makes it pretty easy. <laughs> got to get Michael Vic out of there. He's killing him right now. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Isn't it? Like Lauren said, if your point spread, Vic is killing him. You got to continue to put the ball in his hands. Let him try to make plays. And if you're Giz, you need to be able to contain him. You you played back in the day. You have no excuse. You went up against all types of <laughs> killers that were running with Mike Vick. You need to have some sort of defense. I'm sure he'll be able to adapt. Should be a good second half. This is going to be a huge open and drive um, for point spread to, to start the second half. Well, 14-3 game. Let's take a look at those first half highlights and see how really Michael Dick, Michael Vick got it done for that man right there. Yeah, see right there. Let's one rip right there, this point spread. So he's getting it done through the air and then mixing in the run. He's doing a great job of mixing in quarterback runs, passing the ball, and handing the ball off to his halfback. It's a lot to account for, and his stick work with Mike Vick has been phenomenal. He's seeing the open lanes, and he's taking full advantage of them. And that's important. Sometimes you get those lanes, but you don't have the stick work to take full advantage of them. He's doing a great job of that. Take a look at your keys, RG. How are we looking so far? For point spread, you're doing great. You're not only getting the run going with Jamal Charles, you're getting it going with Mike Vick, and you're able to pass the ball. So everything's good. Uh, for Giz, you're staying in manageable situations, but the problem for him is now he needs to play catch-up. So that's going to force him to have to be a little bit more aggressive, and that's not his style of play. So he might be in a little bit of trouble based on what he wanted to do because manageable situations aren't that great when you're down you know, two possessions. You need to start putting up points in a hurry. Forget manageable situations. You need to start getting chunks and start getting them quickly and speed things up. Well, he's going to have the lead and the ball here. He's just going to step out of bounds at the 21-yard line as it comes off the top of his helmet. Everything going right this far for point spread. Yeah, point spread, 23 years old. He's in school for business administration at Brockport University. So another full-time student that was able to take some time, uh, you know, out of his busy school schedule and make a live event. So that's, that's great to see. These guys talking to themselves here. 11-point game. To find some way to bottle up Michael Vick. I think point Jamal Charles working his way to the 31. I think uh, point spreads wrapping a little on himself. Doesn't have, a, a, I think, as much a tune to on this pony, but he says in his iPad he's got a boogie, New York City rapper, and some old school 50 cent. That's what's going on in the playlist right there, in case you were wondering. It's working right now, whatever he's listening to. Second and in inches here at the 31. Boy, a score here, especially a touchdown, RG, would be a backbreaker. The thing is, too, if you can just continue, when you're already up two possessions in the second half um, with the ball, you just want to make sure that this clock is running as often as possible and you're taking as much of this play clock as possible. You really need to just control this tempo of the game. So once uh, get the ball back, like we said, he has he's going to be in a rush because there's not going to be much time. 20 plays, he's run the ball 16 times. At this point, any incomplete pass or stoppage of the clock, is, it's a huge help uh, to Gibbs. I was talking about the play selection between these guys. An 11-point game, you can see 15 rushes for point spread. Grizzly Adams. We well, we got six. A lot, of running, a lot of running going on in this one. Yeah, only six passes, and that's what they said. That's both their game plan. They're sticking to it. Unfortunately for Giz, though, he, he's going to need to get a little more aggressive when he gets the ball back. Ball at the 33. Vic once again. Can't get away. 
Really you're gonna have to protect oh, Vic. If you're running with, with them, you also you. have to need, make sure you're gonna protect them. One thing that he doesn't have to worry about though is injury, and, yeah. that, and that's huge. Because back in the day when we were all using Mike Vick, <laughs> injuries were on, and you can yeah. lose Vick for the entire game. That's not something you have to deal with in salary cap, so you can be a little bit more aggressive with him. But if one of those strip or big hit animations happens on him while he's scrambling, he could fumble that ball. Third and five. All right, two minutes gone by here in the second half, and big a big-time hit. hit stick at the 27 as Shazier got loose. And there it is, Grizzly Adams playing some Grizzly defense right there. Gets a big hit on Vic. He's going to get the ball back with a chance to get himself some momentum. Michael Camp, 30 years old. He has a birthday coming up in a few days. His birthday is December 6th. So birthday coming up next week. Rochester, New York. He works full-time as a chef. Got to get some recommendations then. Well, right now, he needs to work full-time on these sticks and get that offense to get down the field and get, get some points on the board, make this a one-possession ball game. How big was that sack? It's a Tampa 2, and here, Chazier just comes off the edge. Yeah, and a contain assignment as soon as you try to break the pocket and one of those defenders is in a contain. <laughs> And no emotion right there from Grizzly, huh? Kind of just keeping his cool. Signs to go back to Jerome Bettis, has had success. Just wham and wham, nine for 106. How big, I, I, I still come back to that that missed field goal he, he, that he thought was good. I, I just kind of feel like he's been a little off since. I thought it was good. I turned away from the t from the screen, was, you know, looking at some notes. Next thing I know, I hear you say missed field goal. He would, if he hits that, he's able to tie the game on this drive possibly instead he's playing catch up and i'm not I'm just, talking about the condiment i'm just glad you're listening to me sometimes i don't know what, what are you crazy <laughs> third and three i do have bad adp Can't lie. it kicks in every now and then needs three yards kids running this philly offensive playbook see even a field goal on this drive will make it a one possession game Yep. Clock starting to become a factor, though. Under seven minutes left in this one. Winner plays Pony Montana. Oh, Big time stumble. pancake fest. Yeah, to the 36. Hurrying up, getting the tempo going. Look at the Grizzly. Goes back a little misdirection this time with Jerome Bettis. Maybe ekes out a yard. Can I make it second and ten, though? Meanwhile, point spread is running this New England Patriots defensive playbook. Well, it's a hybrid, so, you know, you get you get the opportunity for the 3-4, 4-3. Four, four, it and also has the 3-3-5 the three, three, five five. odd. Yes, the Skimbo defense. Everybody knows Skimbo, the currently on top of the Madden world right now. Anything you can replicate from him is probably going to be good money. So second and 15 after the penalty. That's the thing, you know, you, you want to work the fake snap. You want to try to see if your opponent's in that aggressive, you know, but, pass but, rush. But sometimes it counteracts against you. Well, there's risk. There's risk reward to the fake snap because, you know, you can get them to jump off sides. But, yeah, you run that risk of the false start from your own line, especially if they don't have that disciplined uh, penalty trait. Goes back to Jerome Bettis. Trucks his way to the 34, and in third and eight, he's going to hurry up. And we, we, we know he doesn't have the distance from there. Exactly. Well, you said you didn't kick it perfect last time. But nonetheless, you don't want to leave it to that. Big play right here. Look at the focus. Look how intense it is between these two players. Right up to A-gap, screaming! Come on, one more, one more play. <laughs> One more play point spread bro, says, bro, and he bro, had an video, A gap coming out, right up the middle like this was old bro, school Madden. What the? Yeah. Yo! Oh my God, they're spazzing out. That's basic. <laughs> Jerome Bettis needed to pick up that blitz. It was right up the gut. And point spread's going to take a timeout here. He sees how big this is. That was fourth and 17 at the 43. Side, you get a stop here. Day. Feeling pretty good going into the fourth quarter. Well, this is where situations get hard because in these fourth and long situations, people use the smart route mechanic. 
that mechanic allows you to extend your routes to the first down marker. So these routes, if, if, unless they would be running, if they would normally be running this way, they're going to be running all the way down to the first down. 11-point game. It's going to be right over there by that first down marker. Biggest play thus far. Needs 17. Throws it Wrong to the sideline, and it's Wrong just read. knocked down. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think he had it on the left. That, that was a bad read by the Grizzly. It looked like the out route that was smart routed on the left side got open for a second, missed it, and now point spread in complete control. You guarantee he's just going to run this ball. And sometimes fourth and 17 is easier to get than fourth and one. Oh, you got to get that block for me. Oh, there goes Charles. Tackle battle. But Krause will win that one and put your fours up. We're going to the fourth quarter. There. And the guy that lives only... Four and a half miles away from the stadium is going to have an opportunity to close this thing out. Oh, my goodness. Richard Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Doing some work right now, huh? Where's all these movie quotes coming from? It's like a different side of you. His name's Richard Anderson. He's Mr. Think, Anderson. I didn't even think you, what, you, you probably you know, got a VHS, right? A little yeah. PCR at home. I mean, you're talking about like Scarface. Matrix. We're talking Scarface, Matrix. These are classics, <laughs> Scott. These are classic yeah, films. Yeah, yeah. I think it's catching up to me. Second and eight at the 35. Like the field goal here would still be a two-possession game. Like, damn, I'm really undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touchdown would pretty much like, put damn, this thing I'm really away. Undefeated. Yeah. Points. The, the, the problem for Grizzly is point spread is just going to continue to let these wind down. No. Goes oh. back to Jamal Charles. The long-time well, chief. Yeah, yeah. That 30-second play <laughs> clock does make it a little bit harder to to milk the clock in these situations. It's How good was Jamal Charles when he was with the Chiefs, man? <laughs> he's with the Broncos now. And it's a, you know, it's, he's had some injuries. And it, the, he was so good, he bluffed me my entire fantasy season. <laughs> and I had him on all my fantasy teams thinking he was going to do work for the Broncos, and uh, it hasn't worked out too well for me. Third and six. He's got some mileage on those tires. Now. Watch out. Here comes the Vickens. And oh, Vick tries to put a hand in the ground, works his way to the 30. That'll put him in field goal range. 47-yarder. This is where you think, hey, if I get these four yards, this game's over. Yeah, and kicking this field goal, you got to watch out because if Grizzly blocks that kick. Well, a scoop and a score here would be you know, those, devastating. Oh, if he blocks that kick, scoops and scores. Here he comes. You see him on that guy right there. He's going to try to come off that edge. Nope. I don't know if that's perfect. That looks right no, out. That's right off to the side. But doesn't matter. And that one goes down Main Street just enough to make it a 14-point game. So Grizzly Adams is going to need two touchdowns in the last three minutes and 31 seconds. He has three timeouts. But we said he, he likes to keep himself in manageable situations. You see how much he's running the ball. He just doesn't have much in that arsenal with his passing attack. This is why you want points in a hurry. I mean, I'm looking at his wide receivers. Uh, Juju from the Steelers, team of the week, only 79 overall. John Ross, the core gold, 75 overall. So he's got some speed. He's got Ingram, too, as well, at tight end. 77 overall. These guys just aren't goons, though, Scott. They're not goons. Yeah, they got speed, but... Maybe questionable in the hands department. There's a difference between being a goon and being serviceable. He has guys that are serviceable, but they're not goons. There is Juju Smith, the former USC Trojan, nice. Pac-12 champs. I will say these Bills color rush jerseys are phenomenal, huh? I've always been a fan of uh, pretty much everything. I like the I like the old school helmets, the old school Bills helmets. Those are nice. From back in like the you know the 70s. So I see wonder why she Bill's Mafia. You no know, point spreads a part of that Bill's Mafia, and boy, is he representing right now. And there's Jerome Bettis. Works his way past the 47. Winner plays Pony Montana next in the finals. I know Pony said he, you know, he, he feels good playing point spread, but looking at point spread's game, he, he, he's looking good, man. I don't know if he's one to be trifled with here at the live event, and he might have some extra motivation. Ah, throws it to the outside. Stop oh the clock. Two twenty-eight. Because he's a shot. 
Uh, another thing that's interesting about uh, point spread, we told you you get the keys, you know, to the Ferrari when you make it here. Yeah. So he said a lot of the guys that he's playing with right now, he first didn't. Time. It's his first time. <laughs> he never had a chance to use him. He didn't have him in online elimination when he did lose the pony, but uh, they're definitely helping him out. Uh, I mean, he said he's, he's riding around in the '93 Ford Escort, and then you go ahead and hand him the keys to the Testarossa, and all of a sudden you're swagging. Good drive here for Grizzly. Coming up on the two-minute warning, trailing by 14. Yeah, I mean, Bettis has 144 yards. Yeah, but only three points for the offense. Right. And there's Bettis who will fall forward to the 22. I like the run right there. A little base play, a little inside zone. Well, the key is you could run the ball because the clock's going to stop at the two-minute warning anyway. Where when time's so sensitive right now, you don't want to get too much running. But that was one of the rare instances in this situation where you could run the ball and it's completely okay because you get the free clock stoppage from that two-minute warning. Vic. Rolling to the left. Playmaker is down. Field. Field. Almost threw an interception. Oh. Barber was coming down on it. Uh, would you say it's fair, RG, with the fourth and two here? This has come Ooh. down to whoever it. has used Michael Vick better. And at this point, it's been point spread. It's been point spread. One thing you gotta you gotta pay homage to Giz about though is he's kept his composure this whole game. You have seen him? He just looked, stayed in that same posture, not getting too animated. And he says it helps him. Be, being an older player, being more mature, helps him stay. And there's oh, a touchdown! And there it John is. Ross gets behind the safeties. And, and there's still some Madden magic alive. This will make it a touchdown game. He's got all his timeouts, so he's got a decision to make, RG. Kick it deeper on side. Got, oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. I... Who's, who's point spread got as his kicker? He's got Graham Gano. I, I think he could onside here just because his field goal kicker is not that great. But he's, he's going to try to play defense. This is big. But, hey, shot out to Giz, like we said, for keeping his composure. Like he said, he said him being an older guy, being mature, it helps him. You got to fight. It, you got to fight. It keeps his emotions in check. And you see him, even when he scored that touchdown, there was no outburst. There's no nothing. He's still focused at that task at hand right now. And that's a dangerous man to mess with, especially when he's got all three of these timeouts. This game is not over. We got ourselves in an intense situation here, Coltrane. Those are the running game. Oh! It's a tackle! It's a recovery! Oh. And that'll move the sticks. Now, if you're going to give up a big play, giving up on first down. But you got nothing from here on out. You got to have stops from here on out. You got to get stingy. You got to 0-1 Ravens type stuff right here. How big is that Jamal Charles been? And he's got that energizer ability, which means when he does a successful ball carrier move, his stamina bar completely refills and it. And there goes Vic. And point spread. I'm not sure I don't slide down here. And if he does wow. at the 12-yard line. Wow. And point spread had the controller <laughs> up in the air as he's running with Vic, and for good reason, I think he just secured his spot in the championship game to get his rematch against Pony Montana. Three nails. What a match. He's going to go to the run here. It's 30-second play clock. One timeout left. I hope he has his, ball, his coaching adjustment on conservative. In this situation, if you're going to run the ball, you go to that coaching adjustment screen on the play call screen. That's where you can dictate how your team's going to play. And you want to put your ball carrier on conservative because it's going to significantly reduce the risk of a fumble. It's back to Jamal Charles. No timeouts now for Grizzly Adams. 17 carries for 70 yards. Take a look at the play selection here. 42 runs in this game. Both of them ran the ball more times than they passed combined. Both these guys have a similar game plan. Very Point spread just able to get loose with Vic a little bit more than Grizzly Adams. And that's just surprising to me. Giz was nasty with Vic back in the day, but he just was the Vic stick just was not there. It might have diminished over the years a little bit. And point spread, on the other hand, looking phenomenal. Fourth and four. 
He's still he's rapping over there. Yeah, he's, he's over there. You know. He's got some rhythm to him too. At first it wasn't there, but they, those last few bars, uh, uh, not I don't bad. Know if they qualify as bars, but you know he's 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 winning the game. Is that, That's all that matters, right? He says he really likes a boogie. I, I'm so out of the loop with music. It's, it's bad. You go to my playlist, Coltrane. It's like old school stuff, man. Oh damn it. That in your uh, Justin Bieber collection? No, absolutely not. I got like old school. I'm talking big pun. We got like the old school Mob Deep, some DMX. Give, give me your top three guys. Top three MCs all time. Oh, I don't know. That's tough. You can't put me on the spot like that. I, I love pun. I'm a huge big pun fan. Pun was always one of my favorites. It's very easy. Rock M from Eric B and Rock M. Number two, the Jizza from the Wu Tang Clan. What? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I could get back to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Ten point game with six seconds. I'm not sure I even kicked that field goal, but. That, I was just thinking <laughs> that. He, that could have got blocked, and that could have got ugly. The point spread. Oh, a little, little pitch. Pitch it back. Stanford Band is not on the field. Hey, before this is over, and you know, all the credit to point yes. spread. But some credit to Giz for, you know, stepping away from the game for about nine years mm -hmm. to see how big this is getting and to come back, throw his hat back into the ring, put in the work, and make one of these live events in his first year back. That, that just shows, you know, a lot of you old school players, it's not over. You can come back, you can get it done. But right now it was point spread today. Well, we've had two games. They were both 20 to 10. This time... It is point spread, getting the victory over the Grizzled Veteran. Yeah, there was that missed field goal. And then point spread, right when I was saying he doesn't like to throw the rock, comes out, throws a rocket right over the middle. And that then was huge Vic right with the QB sneak. We used to ban QB sneaks with Vic <laughs> back in the day out of shotgun. They were so good. And the Vic stick was real all day long for point spread. And it's going to be interesting to see how Pony deals with that. Look at that A gap right up the middle. Vic not able to get away from it. She's here doing what he does. Go to the fourth quarter here. Vic rolls out left. It's an inaccurate throw. Can't get it done on third and two. It really came down to all third downs. Not Point happy. spread doing a nice job. It was a third and goal with Vic. It broke loose. If it, you know, if Grizzly could have stopped him there and held him, you know, you never know. And there's the big time run. By Vic, and he just slides down, able to secure the victory right there. Lauren, send it by the winner. Hey, guys, that's right. I'm with Point Spread right now. Your strategy going into this game and continuing throughout the game at halftime was really to rely on that offense from Vic. What else do you think was working today for you? Uh, really my defense. I was kind of scared of Deuce Close coming in. So when he started running the ball out of it and Jerome Bettis was trucking everyone, I was a little scared. But he couldn't really throw the ball, so I just sat on run and then tried to bait him with my user. Now you're going up against Pony Montana for the championship today. What's your strategy looking like for that game? Uh, I know he likes to run bunch. I've been trying to lab some bunch D. Um, so basically stop pitch and then stop bunch. Point spread, thanks so much. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren.